Hi lovely friends, welcome back. My name's Chess. This is the Scapegoat Club where we talk about fun things like narcissism and narcissistic families. And in this video, I wanna talk about what happens when your narcissistic family charms your partner. Stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome back. So for those of you who have difficult narcissistic families, I wonder how many of you, how many of us have come across the problem where our partners, our friends, our close people, our allies don't see the narcissism in our families. It's really hard. It's an incredibly difficult situation. So let's just break it down. As we know, narcissists are all about facades. They're all about showing the world this amazing, fabulous, fake truth. They're nice, they're charming, they're, they're, they're the perfect parent, they're the perfect sibling. Everything's just sunshine and roses and nothing's wrong. Getting out the, the good china and making sure that the house is clean and that nobody can see. Nobody can even see a speck of dust or even just like the tiniest bit of normality. No, everything has to be just that kind of perfect facade, right? Because narcissists can't even deal with being normal. They have to be better than everybody. Everything has to be perfect. And so there is no way that they could show somebody who's not within their control or within that, that immediate family unit, there's no way that they can show people outside of you know, those closed doors that they're anything but, but perfect. <laughs> And the other thing is that narcissists need allies. They need people on their team. And so they want to recruit. They're always looking for that next person who can add to their supply, right? And so one of the things that narcissists do is love bombing. And they just go out and they, they charm people. They put on the best show. They, they groom people almost to get them into their confidence, to, to make them their friends or their allies. And then they can start to control and manipulate and do what they need to do. So that can be so challenging when they do that to our partners. And so often our partners don't see it. They just see this facade. They see the nice father-in-law or mother-in-law. They see the, the, you know, the great protective older brother or the really fun and cute younger sister because they're just being treated to the fakeness. And we all know that narcissists can just turn on the charm when they need it, especially if it's a big occasion as well, when the narcissist wants everything to look grand. It's a birthday, it's a, it's a Christmas, it's a Thanksgiving, it's a wedding, it's one of these big, big events that they can just show the world how perfect they are. And often that's what our partners see. And sometimes if we don't live very close to our families, that might be the only thing that they see. They fall for that, that fakeness. If someone hasn't got a narcissistic family and they haven't come across that kind of thing before, it won't be on their radar to, to be questioning whether this stuff isn't real. If they come from a loving family, then that's what they're going to expect to see. That's their normal. So they won't, they'll see the love and they won't see the, the potential for the fact that that isn't, that's just skin deep. You know, it's not what actually what's happening beneath the surface. Or sadly, it could also be that some of us that we have controlling and even narcissistic partners as well. There's a reason why we might seek that out in a partner. We can have a tendency to perpetuate unhealthy relationships, unfortunately, that's a kind of a, a human thing. So if we have got narcissists in our families that we grew up with, we could be tr attracted to them in partners. And so if we have a narcissistic partner, then it's kind of, it's gonna be this weird interplay of who's kind of on top. 
but ultimately if a narcissistic partner can benefit from say putting us down in the same way that our narcissistic families do then that might appeal to them as well so it's a really tricky situation when this happens and it's frustrating as hell so what we can end up doing is we can end up over explaining and over defending ourselves to our partners so we could end up saying yeah you didn't you you saw this but you didn't see that when you left the room or or when they called back later or often it's so subtle that it's just kind of a tone of voice or, or a turn of phrase or an old joke that um that makes us doubt ourselves or puts us back into that kind of old family dynamic pushes that button and suddenly we're on the defensive it's really hard when that happens when the, those buttons are pressed because we end up being very reactive as well and we need we want our partners to support us because without that we are very isolated and so we can end up really trying to over defend ourselves and then if that doesn't happen or if our partners don't see it then we can end up getting irritated or angry and then that can create conflict in our relationships and ultimately this spiral ends up with us feeling even more isolated we don't know who we can trust if our partners don't believe us and they're questioning why why this lovely mother-in-law who wouldn't hurt a fly why would why would their partner be saying something about that they don't see the problem right so we can be filled with self-doubt and feel very isolated when, when this happens. So if you are in this situation, I have a couple of thoughts. It's, it's really difficult. So the first one is actually the most important one is that if you feel that your partner is, has got the echoes of the narcissistic traits, this is a tough one. And it's one of those situations where I think it's we need to kind of decide in our own time what our best strategies and what our best levels are but if you do believe that your partner is following in a kind of an abusive cycle that your family has been doing then the main priority in that situation has to be to get someone who's on your side we really need allies when we're dealing with narcissists we need people who have our backs and believe us no matter what and people who we don't have to defend ourselves and explain ourselves to people who say you know what jess i get it i believe in you i know that you're a good person if you're saying that this is your truth i believe you and i'm on your side for whatever it is that you need we need that if you don't have that in your partner hopefully you have a friend or maybe a really supportive colleague or, or you can reach out to a therapist or another healthcare professional that's what we're here for and i really hope that you can take that that step even if it's just to get information or to have a supportive and, and sane conversation where you can get some stuff out and, and figure out what you need to do it's really really worth it it's a gift to yourself and your sanity and if you're dealing with that situation where your partner isn't narcissistic but they're not seeing it or they just don't want to see the conflict or they don't want to get involved it's still really hard what i would say in that situation is to just try and lean into your partner as much as you can and to take the support from them to try and turn off as much of the narcissistic stuff as you can because the more that you get caught up in it and i know i've been there it's really hard to turn it off but the more you can and the more you can not bring that into your relationship the better but if it's abusive or it's really difficult we also do need support to talk about it so again if your partner isn't quite there hopefully you can reach out to a friend or if you can just say to your partner look i know you don't see it i know that you're not quite getting it it is and maybe you can't even describe exactly what's going on because it's covert abuse and it's really confusing and you're not feeling good hopefully you can just say that to the, your partner look i i love you and i need your support i can't quite explain what's happening but something's not right so please i just know need to know that you have my back asking for that support gives less power to the narcissists and allows us to distance ourselves and then i would say bide your time because at some point the narcissist is gonna out themselves something's not going to go that way especially if you have a loving and supportive relationship with your partner 
and there at some point they're going to realize that they don't have the control over you they don't have your undivided attention and your your life isn't revolving around them anymore at some point your partner's going to see it but at some point they are going to slip up they're going to show it and then you won't need to defend yourself and feel like you have to justify everything because your partner's going to get it and then you can navigate the way forwards together so i hope that helps a bit and if you are in this situation then yeah know that it is hard and that it does take patience and time and is that a song patience and time it's it's, it's hard work and it it requires that we rise above we dig deep into ourselves to rise above what that narcissist is doing that's hard because they've we've learned from the worst people we don't have those skills but the more time and the more effort we put into practice not getting sucked into that stuff ultimately the better it's better for us friends please take care of yourselves thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you soon take care mm -hmm.